So right after I drew that eyebrow, I decided, you know what? I really don't like that. Let's do it another way. So I'll invoke the artist privilege of changing that. I'll go ahead and delete that item. Come back and grab our add point tool. And I wanted to simply have fewer points to mess with when we start animating that is the reason for that. So there we go. That's the eyebrow layer. The next thing we need to do is add our eyelid to cover the eye. It doesn't always have to be showing, but we'll use it for expressive effect later on. And this will require its own little special set and trick that we pull off that we kind of touched on earlier in another one of our movies. We'll create a new layer, actually a new group, and this is going to be named our eyelid layer. So I'll double click that. Put eyelid and eye. And we're going to move not the eyebrow, but the pupil and the eyeball into that. Make sure the eyeball's below the pupil. I'm going to move my eyebrow up above. So that's in there. And now we're going to pull off some little masking tricks that uh, we've looked at earlier. The first thing I want to do is actually create the eyelid. So I'll need to create a new layer for that because it's its own animatable item and I want to have that on its own layer. So I'll select New, Vector Layer. I'll name that Eyelid and select OK. Now if you're thinking, wow, this is a lot of work for eyes. Am I going to have to do the same thing on the other side? The answer is no because once we spend all the time creating this eye right here we can simply duplicate the layer and all our work is done we rename it and we've got two separate eyes so it's a great time saver to be able to do that well with our eye lid let's go ahead and come over to our circle tool or oval tool and I'll draw something about like this select the translate tool and move that over Maybe on this one, I want to go ahead and warp this a little bit. So let's see. No, that's not going to give me a good warp. That's too much, maybe. Hmm. I think instead, I'm simply going to grab this point and pull that up a little ways, like so. I do want to add some color to this. And now we're going to put on a couple little cool special effects that really create a sophisticated look for working with eyes. The first thing we need to deal with is, of course, to give this a frog-like green. So as we've noticed before, we've uh, worked with a layer gradient. We're going to do the same thing again. We'll come into Gradient. For the options, I'm going to choose Radial. I'll have a light green color something about like this. And you may be thinking, why aren't you saving this off and building a style? It's because this really is only going to happen on the eyelids. The others can be similar, but they don't have to be the same. I'll select OK. Then for the outer area, a darker green. Like so. So that's looking all right. If we do a quick render, just to double check, that's looking okay. It looks like a lily pad floating on top of its eye. Okay, now we need to hide this so it only reveals for the eye. And then we'll pull off a couple other little cool special effects tricks. Under our eyelid and eye layer, we'll open the options on this. Come to masking, and we're going to say hide all. And choose okay. Everything goes away, that's okay. We come down to Eyeball. I'll double click it this time. We'll come to the Maskings tab and we want to say Add this to our mask. So now it's going to be added to the mask. It shows up. We'll come to our Pupil layer. Choose Masking. Add to Mask. OK. Then for our Eyelid the option that we want here is 
mask this layer and choose OK. Let me double click my settings here just to make sure on the layer itself. All right, so that's been set and now we see our eyelids hiding. If we do a quick render, we'll notice that we have this nice kind of uh, dark line going around here, but it stops at the eye and that's kind of a visual disconnect that I don't want to have. So we're going to pull off two special effects at once here. I'll close this. We'll come to our eyelid layer right here. Double click on that and open it one more time. Now under shadows, I'm going to turn on shadows for this entire eyelid layer. I'm going to change the offset to zero, change the blur to zero, and give it an expansion of two. We'll see how that looks. Under the shadow color, I'll click on this. and We get an option not only to control color, but to control how transparent it is. I want this to be completely black. So I move the alpha slider all the way to the top, select OK. Now when we do a render, you can see we have a nice black outline going around the top. The last thing I want to do is add a quick shadow underneath. For that we come to the actual eyelid, come to shadows, shadow on. I'll leave the default settings where they are, select OK. And when we do a render, we see we get a great shadow across the eye from the eyelid. In our next movie, we'll go ahead and duplicate and set the eyes up.